G'day team, your old mate Kiwi Badger. We're uh, we're here at the uh, the gorilla's abode. We've got the mighty blackbird there. Not be in frame. The mighty blackbird, all fueled up and uh, ready to go. Um, <clears throat> two good examples, in my opinion, of 90s engineering. Um, now the ST, the ST's dating a little bit, but we can get a better angle. The Blackbird, in my opinion, is still a fairly good looking bike. Um, and uh, not a sl uh, sloth either. Moves. Anyway, we're about to head off into Whangarei for the night and then on to Cape Rehanga. 78% battery, got my charger in the boot in the back. Let's go. Bro. So we're going to. Whangarei! Whangarei! What do you say, Whangarei? The money or the bag? <laughs> Alrighty, our team, here we are. Ready to go. A beautiful Waikato day. We're just gonna trundle, we're not gonna race. Oh, he's got cramp already. Oh no.
that's all right. Oh, which one do you want? Do you need a spice? Hey? doing today? Well, we're going to head to Cape Brian out. I'm going to see the lighthouse. <coughs> then um, we're going to turn around and uh, head back to Tikawini, where legends are made. The big gorilla <coughs> was going to soar ass uh, about every 40 minutes. Um, it reminded me of the VTR. If I was to add up all my stops yesterday, I must have stopped maybe an hour for fueling, um, which means I rode for about eight, eight and a half hours uh, with uh, yeah four micro breaks, and um, it wasn't until maybe the last 20 minutes last night where I started getting a bit of a sore ass. Um, but you know that was uh, quite a decent day, I guess. Today is going to be even bigger. Today is some, um, I think Aaron said uh, 1200 Ks. That's what he said, I'm not sure. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're doing it. We're out there doing it, team. And hopefully, we're doing it safely. And hopefully, the weather is going to be amazing. Uh, <coughs> the time is 20 past 7. Um, we're about 20 minutes behind schedule. Uh, not that we really have a schedule, but we were hoping to leave at 7. Uh, we'll stop at some stage and um, get some food, I guess. And we'll have to get some fuel as well. Yeah. The moon is sitting up over there. Yeah. I went and bought a pair of uh, a new a new pair of gloves. I don't know if I talked about them previously. They're uh, they're uh, a Harley Davidson glove, short glove. Um, they, I think they were about a hundred and were they hundred and ten or ninety dollars. Bought them from uh, Harley Davidson Fielding, and um, they've done really really well. Um, they're comfortable. Uh, they're, they're actually quite warm. I, I've not worn them in rain yet, uh, so I don't know how repellent they will be to the rain, but I did notice that the finger on this one is a little bit short. Uh, so I went back to Blair and said, can I try on another pair? I think the finger's a little bit long on this one. <laughs> uh, turns out, it's, it's not... <laughs> turns out it's not, the, uh, it's not the finger that's long. <laughs> The glove finger that's long, it's my actual finger that's short. Okay, Brianga, 261Ks. So math says if we're travelling at 100 kilometres an hour non-stop, we should be there in 2 hours and 36 minutes. 2 hours and 36 minutes takes us to uh, basically uh, 10 o'clock. o'clock in Cape Rianga and then uh, seven hours seven hours back to uh, Tikawini 10 so 12 that's 5 p.m. if my maths is right five p.m. and I recall rightly the last time I did this with Aaron there's a sign up here about a hundred meters that tells us how far until the next town and last time I did this ride I was on the VTR which would do max here's the sign up here uh, which would do max 150 to 160 K per tank <laughs> and I was stressing out about uh, yeah running out of fuel 
was constantly having to do math around my fuel consumption and how far I had to travel, how much fuel I needed on board. Not anymore, because I got 28 litres on this bad boy. again that's for sure I think last time we're up here as well I made comment about the 80k and now speed limit signs everywhere and my comment was these roads are perfectly fine don't these people know how to drive up here or something and we came around this corner up here and there's a car upside down in the ditch which kind of answered the question
gotta give it to the old ST, boys and girls. 25, 25? 25. Gotta give it to the ST. 25-year-old motorcycle. Take it along beautifully, not miss the beat.